What's going on YouTube Middle Complex here and today we're going to be going through uh, new arrivals through Blade HQ. I've been doing this recently, um, kind of rotating and checking out new stuff here or there. Um, and you guys seem to like this and I, like I said, I, I do this anyway. So I thought why not just make it into um, kind of a series, right? Uh, everybody is, uh, well, whether you're looking for new stuff or you're not, you know, it's just kind of interesting to see what's out there. Um, this is a good way to keep myself updated on new releases, and it's a good way to inform people who are actually looking for something new um, to perhaps spot something that they're interested in. Um, why do you need to watch a video on this? Why can't you just go do it yourself? You can. I always make that easy on people. I will leave a link right down at the top of the description in the video you're watching right now so that you can just go look through this page. You certainly don't have to watch this if you don't want to. Uh, let me make this clear. I um, am super busy in the next coming days. So I'm having to uh, do like extra pre-recordings. And that means that for the people who are watching this the moment it goes live, this was actually recorded on Wednesday. So there's likely more new stuff uh, than even what you're seeing here by the time you're actually seeing this. Normally I try to do this one day in advance, right at the, the you know, the latest so that you guys are seeing the actually the newest stuff. Um, but yeah, so if you're curious, right, uh, there's probably more new stuff than what you're seeing here. Please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And if you'd like to check out my Patreon, there is, of course, a link down in the description. Uh, there will be um, individual links for any of the things that I find super interesting. Any links that you use to pick something up. Full disclosure, it does benefit my channel. Blade HQ is not paying me to do this. Uh, they're not, you know, it's they didn't, didn't request that I walk through their website or anything. I'm just going through and checking some stuff out. That's just what I'm doing. So if you want to use the links, you can. If not, that's okay, too. Uh, real quick here. The Kaiser Feist, I recently named this as one of the better, um, you know, front flippers that you can get. And truthfully, I think in my video where I talked about my top five favorite front, front flippers, I think the uh, Boost Blade Smoke was actually better. And I had just, I had left that one out on accident. But this is still a good front flipper for sure. I mean, it's got its quirks and, uh, it, you know, it, it's got, it, it's kind of small. Um, but, you know, for 135 S35VN, Kaiser's quality, you know, this apparently is going to be discontinued. Um, so, yeah, if you're wanting to pick something like this up, then, yeah, check this one out. Absolutely. Let's go on here. Uh, move down just a little bit. This is the, the Kaiser Justice that I brought up in another video, and I think I've actually brought it up more than once. It just looks interesting. They're using 154CM. It's a nice basic design. It's a pretty big knife at 8.75 inches overall, uh, but this looks like a just an awesome user. Um, it's, it's basic. They're not doing anything special there, but oftentimes designs like that really excel. DSK Tactical VXP um, DSK Tactical makes those, they, they make monstrously overbuilt knives. So if you like that stuff and you're okay with that price, honestly, that's not, the knives I've seen from DSK have been substantially more expensive from that in the, than that in the past. So, uh, maybe that's one that, you know, if you're big into the big aggressive overbuilt stuff, then maybe that might be something that you're interested in. Um, what? Okay. I'm... I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say this. I am new to flashlights. Phoenix LR35R flashlight Cree or C-R-E-E -E LED. 10,000 lumens. I'm not the first person to yell 10,000 lumens. I'm sure that uh, you can <laughs> put that uh, together there, uh, who that was originally. But that's a lot of lumens. That's way more lumens than anybody needs. 200 bucks, uh, max runtime 80 hours, probably not at 10,000 lumens. That is certainly a beam of energy. Um, that's interesting just because it's in totally insane on the lumen count. Um, but okay, there you go. I, I mean, again, you're not getting this information from anybody who is like really well versed in the flashlight world. That's I'm literally just drawn to that um, just because of the lumen count, just because it's funny, right? Um, moving on here, going to pick up things that I find interesting. That's an attractive looking knife. Let's take a look at this. The Kaiser Nick Swan Matanzas. Is that how you pronounce that? Titanium and micarta with a drop point blade of CPM S35 VN 8.125 inches overall. That is a good looking knife. Yeah. Um, I kind of wish Kaiser would move away from that pivot. But the rest of it is very, very beautiful. I love that. 
the inlay, the micarta inlay, and then you've got this shadow boxing around. That's just really good looking. Absolutely. If you guys don't know, you know, Blade HQ also does the thing where they do the video walk around. I think that's a, I think that's great. Um, that way you can get an idea of what it's, what it's like in somebody's hand. Um, even though everybody's hands are totally different, but it's still really cool. Look at this. Everybody jumped on my Gail, Gail Bradley 2 video that I made forever ago. And they were like, again, because I was like, it's discontinued. It's not coming back. And it's here. <laughs> and people were like, um, this is available. And I, at first I jumped in. I was like, this video is old. Like, there's no way for me to know. But actually, I'm glad that people told me. Um, because this is an excellent knife. $171. And yeah, you're getting that laminate carbon five, whatever. Um, it's, uh, a, a steel, or is, is it steel? I think it's a steel liner lock. Uh, but, uh, the laminate carbon fiber in G10, but CPM M4 and overall the design from you, from the perspective of somebody who's actually going to go out and use it is excellent. There is a bit of a problem with access to the liner lock on this knife. It's a bit uncomfortable. Um, but man, what an excellent knife. I mean, CPM M4, we, we just don't see enough of it. Um, and, uh, you know, overall, I just, I really like this and I, I want to see a Gail Bradley three. I want to see, uh, you know, I would honestly like to see a more expensive one. That's got some of the issues worked out. I want to see all carbon fiber. I want to see a relatively, relatively similar, uh, blade shape and overall profile, but I want some better access to that law. Honestly, I'd like to see this in a compression lock. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, that was creepy. But yeah, that's uh, something that I would very much like to see. I'll be linking that one. Some left-handed uh, Sabenzas in Ladder Damascus. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's move on here. Some some of those. The CRKT Provoke, is that, that's a kinetic morphing karambit that like looks like a transformer. Uh, interesting there. All right, moving on here. Viper Knives, Vox, Kat Katla? It's kind of nice. I've had a good experience with Vox in the past. Absolutely. I like these. Look at this QSP uh, knife worker. Let's go ahead and look at this one. I like modern designs that have a classic appeal to them. 7695 gets you what I'm assuming is a slip joint. Let's read more. The QSP worker is a solid utility knife with a lockback mechanism. Okay, well, there you go. It's a lockback. In fact, I'm stupid. You can see the lockback right there. The knife has a traditional vibe to it, but it uses modern materials for comfort. Oh, that's very similar to the dialogue I used. <laughs> Performance and strength is after the comma. Uh, the pivot has ceramic ball bearings for smooth action. The blade has a sheep's foot profile. So we have a lockback here with ceramic ball bearings. Uh, this is not necessarily a tiny knife either, 7.75 inches. Before you dismiss Bowler N690, I will say that I've had a very good user experience with Bowler N690 and it is perfectly welcome in this price range. This is unique and it's very cool, very classy, cool looking. QSP is hit or miss with me. They, uh, their Penguin, I've got one in hand right now and their Penguin is very impressive, but this looks cool. I'm honestly, I, I mean, this is neat. They got a pocket clip on it. I mean. Yeah, uh, actually, I'm ew, I'm almost intrigued enough to pick that up for myself, honestly. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'll highlight that one. We'll get uh, links down in the description for that bad boy. Moving on here. Uh, this is one worth highlighting because of the price on it. The Riot Bar Baruka T3000. The reason I want to highlight it is because Riot really likes that $400 price point and up. Um, the fact that we're looking at a $310 Riot here, let me find one that is appealing to me right here. This is, I, I've seen this floating around. It's not necessarily brand new. Uh, you've got a seven inch overall knife, three inch blade, that very futuristic. Oh, wait now, wait a second. Is this an integral? Uh, let's read. Experience React quality in a scaled down EDC friendly size with the Tashi Baruka. So that's the designer, uh, T3000. The T3000 model showcases a bead blasted titanium handle with carbon fiber inlays and a satin finish recurve blade. Ceramic bearings facilitate smooth and fast deployment. The highly effective blade, the sturdy, this sturdy T3000 folding knife offers distinctive Baruka style and a pocket friendly design. Um, it looks like an integral. I'm sure you guys are like, why are you, we can read that. <laughs> if this is an integral, gosh, it looks like it is. It really does look like it is. Um, Mmm, 
I wonder if this, I'm, this, this area right here is what's making me think that that is the case. If that is the case, wow, $320 is a really good price. That's a lot of money no matter who you are. That's a lot of money for a knife. But a little integral that has the whole futuristic appeal to it, ooh, it's kind of a mini Riot Future. And uh, I, I have the Riot Future, um, or I just, I just mailed back to its owner, but that was impressive. Look at that nice contouring, the carbon fiber inlay, that really cool blade shape. Got some different anodizing options on the hardware. Uh, pocket clip looks like it goes with the design. It's kind of a sub frame lock with the overlay. That's neat. Yeah, I'm I'm intrigued by that for three hundred and twenty dollars. That's that's a great price if it is an integral. I'm not saying officially that it is. I'm just judging by the picture there. I'll highlight that one as well. Um, let's see here. These are interesting. The Kirby Lambert uh, Augustus, um, just because it is a compound grind. I think that's neat. I, you know, the compound grind isn't going to be the most beneficial thing in, in EDC for every single person out there, but boy, is it nice to look at these. I've got one coming. The Boker XXL Kalashnikovs are here 60 bucks and it's a, <laughs> a 4.75 inch automatic, uh, knife. Or I mean the, the blade itself is 4.75 inches. So it's huge. I'm going to guess it's a little sluggish. Whatever. It's kind of neat, right? Got it in all black. Got it in uh, the, the Desert Warrior. And then you got the, the Plain Jane, which is probably what I'd go for. The stone washed in black. So that's neat. Link that one as well. Kind of looked over the Bradford Knives Guardian 3, which is much smaller than I had suggested in previous videos. Uh, still one that's worth taking a look at. Absolutely. Um Boy, that Daryl Ralph that or that Sog Seal FX reminds me of a Daryl Ralph blade. I don't know why. Uh, probably plenty different. It's just immediately that's the first thing that I think of. Um, you know what's funny? Let me point this out real quick. So this benchmark ballast song. So so many people who know me in my real life, um, like here in town, we have a Benchmade dealer, and they know me, and so their their access to the highest quality knives here locally, it's it's Benchmade. Um, and so often I have people bring me not check out that I went ahead and I spent some money, check out my new benchmark. <laughs> I didn't realize up until recently, there actually is a company called benchmark who makes apparently Balasong knives. And that adds uh, further confusion because Benchmade's butterfly logo is a representation of them bringing the original Balasong design to an American production knife. I understand the confusion. And that's, that's the reason for that dialogue. QSP Songbird, interesting blade shape there. Song Ultra XR in carbon fiber and what looks like a gold blade. I'm going to guess that's paint, but maybe not. I don't know. More interesting QSP. See, that's what I mean about QSP being hit or miss. Sometimes like, like models like this, the Phoenix, I reviewed it, came close to something that was really cool. Other designs they have, I'm like, no. And then they bring out stuff like the Penguin and I'm like, absolutely. Absolutely. This one right here, QSP Woodpecker, that's a nice looking knife. In fact, let's go ahead and look at that real quick. That's an appealing blade to me. 8.5 inches overall, M390, and a very simple titanium frame. They're not doing anything special here, but they don't, they don't necessarily have to. You've got some nice micro milling around here, right? There's a nice titanium backspace. It looks like we got the two, two screw construction on a uh, sandwich or a pillar construction frame lock. Um, yeah, that's nice. Blade thickness is only 115 thousandths. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's nice. That's gonna be, uh, a, a, it looks like it's probably be a, a pretty good cutter. Um, I don't know what it weighs. I'm gonna guess it weighs something around four ounces maybe. Um, so yeah, if you like a larger titanium frame lock, but you want some better cutting geometry and you like how that looks, then maybe that'll be right up your alley. It looks like they, well, no, that's a different knife. Okay, well, they got some similar designs there. It looks like maybe, is that a wave feature on the woodpecker? Yeah, so it is the woodpecker, but it's got, the wave. Yeah, it says the wave right there. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. That's all I can really say about some of these is that they look interesting. Um, let's see here. I'd love to tell you guys that there were more production ProTech Malibus available, but it still says coming soon. Um, I actually have a, um, well, that says Bear Ops. I have a Bear and Sun Ballast song that somebody sent to me. <laughs> I think maybe you guys have already seen the uh, unboxing at this point. But yeah, uh, Paragon Autos, we've got some more fixed blades. I think we're kind of backing into the area now where this is most of the new arrivals that I have seen already. 
Yeah, it kind of feels like this is an area that I've been to here recently. More Guardian Tactical GTX 25s. Those are still available. That's a great knife. Um, I urge you to check those out. Um, that's interesting. Uh, absolutely. So, guys, I think that's about all that I can show you right now. Like I said, there's probably more in this new arrival section than what I'm seeing here, what I'm showing to you guys. Um, you know, because I recorded this on Wednesday and they come out with new stuff every single day. It's always worth going through and checking out new arrivals. And then, of course, coming soon, right? If you want to, you can click into my link. You can click on coming soon and you can get your email notification on for something that you're waiting on because there are a lot of really crazy popular knives or sure to be popular knives that are coming soon through Blade HQ. I don't know. Every now and then people ask me, do you know, do you have inside information on when stuff's coming out? Truthfully, no. I have no idea. The only thing I can tell you guys is you know, with, with any website, the notification system's not perfect. In fact, my own notification system through YouTube is not perfect. People tell me all the times they don't, all the time they don't get the notifications for all of my videos. That's on YouTube's end, you know, but, uh, you know, that's your best bet. If you're, if you're looking to get something in the coming soon section, I'll go ahead and just go through just to give you guys an example, right? Um, I know that people are waiting on, uh, we're doing a hybridization of a video here. The reason I haven't done more coming soon videos is because there's just not a lot of new stuff. But like the Protec Malibus, I know people want those, right? I mean, that that's something that people are very interested in. Um, and then the other big one here is, if I can find it, it's the, um, well, it's the Spyderco Shaman in um, Micarta. And I can't remember where that one is in this list here, but... That's another one that's coming soon, and I know it's I know it's in here somewhere. Um, if it wasn't at the beginning and I missed it, which could have could very well be the case, but this is the kind of stuff where if you're looking for something, you know, if you're waiting on something, the best thing all you can do really is just go back to this page and continuously, you know, check every now and then or sign up for the notification thing. It's in here somewhere, um, unless it released and I didn't know about it. But anyways, guys, yeah, if you want to check this stuff out, I think that's about as long as this video needs to be. This is fun. As always, I appreciate it, uh, you know, feedback, letting me know if you're enjoying this kind of thing. If you did pick something up, it's always fun to hear what you guys picked up in the comments section, so feel free to leave a comment. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex. I'll go right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.